What's up, guys? Don is here, the only, only one and only. Yep. Today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on this kind of stuff and After Effects. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing that. You see that sexy lights? Uh, two D bullshit. Uh, motion track and After Effects. We're gonna be doing that today. You know. So, show you how to do that. All right, let's get started. So, I got a clip. Um, when you use Buju, you can render it in AVI. You don't have to use JPEG sequence. So, and you don't have to use 59 frames. You can render it at 29 frames. All right. So, you got Buju open. Buju, and then we import sequence. I'm sure you already know this, but people that don't know, and I want to thank you for all the subscribers I got recently. Um, Yes, I'm an editor and um, I make tutorials and stuff for you guys and edit. So, yep, I want to say thank you for all the new subscribers. And I love you. Keep watching my videos and stuff. So, we're going to go to edit camera. And we want to change the frame rate to the same as our clip. And you want to hit track. And then we just let it track the features on the clip. So yeah. Hope this tutorial helped you guys. Um it helps me, you know. So we got that track and we just wanna come to camera saw and hit check these two icon these two boxes and yep. I'm just gonna make some little blue dots or whatever. Alright, so now we got this, we got all our track points, and what you want to do is hit scene geometry. Let's drag this over this way. Uh, add the coordinate. Now the origin is the middle, so you find the point that's in the middle. So if we go like to middle, the middle of our clip, uh, I'm going to say this one, and hit connect and select it. Add origin, and we want to hit the X. Now X axis is from left to right, so we're going to check this one and hit control and check that one and hit connect to select it and then add coordinate and hit z axis z axis is from up and down so you want to check this one and this one and hit connect to select it and then we want to update it then we want to go to add a text object so we can make sure it is tracked properly properly and talk this morning so as we scroll through the timeline we see that it is tracked pretty good and that's all we need for this tutorial so as you go in 3d space you can see where the floor is basically um, you see that's the camera so we know that that's good all right so now we want to do is go to export camera solve and you want to change this to After Effects Maya and you want to change this go to file you want to put this to the desktop and I'm just going to put this uh, tutorial tutorial one okay so all right then you want to change the scene scale to 100 and then we hit save okay Now after we got that, we want to open our After Effects, make sure our clip is in here, and we could make sure our clip and the stuff that we want to track, or you can make your own 2D animation. Now we want to take, we want to take this MA file and drag it in After Effects. Now we get all this stuff, you know. So, uh, we want to double click that. And we're going to change the composition settings to 1280 by 720. Alright. And so we got this, and you can see that's like a bougie floor or whatever. And we want to take our clip, 
drag it in here and you see our clip so then uh, you can, uh, if you want to make it look cool this picture you know so we could do a uh, composition to composition and we can create a solid a new solid white and uh, click the star rectangle and double click it and hit scale and we can scale that down a little bit and then go hit M duplicate the mask control D and make this a subtract and hit the feather and feather that in alright and then we just duplicate that and make that a little bit bigger if you want and you can just duplicate that one Oops. and make that bigger if you want alright so then we can just uh, add a fill to all 3D and we can just change the colors if you want green pink and let's try blue green pink and blue purple blue whatever and then we just want to take our picture drop it in there and we just want to scale this down like that Scale it. Alright, so. Alright, we're gonna scale that and uh, double click. Click our picture. Click our picture and double click this. And then give it like that smooth thing. See, smooth edges, not hard. Alright, so. After we got all that, we just wanna go here and find our comp one drag it in here drag it on top of the clip alright and you just want to hit this 3D thing boom you want to hit that and you just want to see it's way in 3D space so we could just drag this back if you want uh, and then fit fit you could just make it however you want it where you want it wherever you want it and wherever you put it at I just want to come here, go to position, and you bring the scale up a little bit. Uh, position, we can push it back some. If you want, and then we could uh, rotate it. Rotate it a little bit if you want. You can woo, flip it, whatever. That will float your boat. But we just want to just rotate it a little bit. Alright, so as we can see, it is not. Alright, so now we have it tracked finally. So we just want to take the position and uh, scale it in. I was messing with the thingy thingy. Take the scale. Alright. Alright, now you see it's motion track. Okay, I thought I was dumb for a minute. I'm about to say what? Alright, so take the position, move it over. Alright, now we can see this is motion track on there. It still stays in the middle. Um, yeah. Still stays in the middle, and it's not going anywhere. And that's motion track. Now, we have to make it a little. You can motion track almost anything. Uh, let's say we just want to motion track a star. Um, just 
Grab that star tool. He's gonna motion track this big black ugly star. So and we just make this a 3D player. And it's right there. So we just hit P in a position. And we just bring it up. And we could bring it over like that and just hit scale if you want. Um and we see that it's track. So yeah, uh, that's how you do that. If you want to know more advanced stuff, uh, just message me. But yeah, that's how you track stuff, 2D stuff. And thank you. This has been Nigga Camo. Out.